Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Um, this Tuesday, we uh, found this great little devotion called Everyday Inspiration from God's uh, Creation. And it's like well, it's a whole year plus some. Um, a small little book, uh, just some little pops of um, uh, a devotion. And it's mostly based around um, creation and what we experience and see in creation. And as a as a young man or whatever you want to call me at this point in my life, um, who grew up in Wyoming, um, I may not have always been, so to speak, a Christian, but there was always a hint of that there was something uh, larger at work in the universe uh, at the very minimum for me, um, even when I was at my most, I guess, agnostic. Um, but it, it's hard to grow up in a place like that, Um and the majesty and the beauty and um, the incredibleness of, of creation all around you from Tetons to Yellowstone and geysers and the, the geological wonders that are up there and um, the dense forests and the, the immense amount of, of wildlife from grizzly bears, black bears, brown bears to elk and moose and deer and antelope and countless other things. Um to not um, to not think that something else was there at large the the moments spent with my my uh, my grandpa fishing and hunting and dinking off in the woods or in nature in the desert um, there was always a sense of something greater um, even when he had us hanging off a cliff edge in the truck where we shouldn't have been driving anyways but that's neither here nor there There were moments, the author talks about it too, but um, it really made me think of the moments that I've been alone in nature. Um, the author talks about a time when he's fishing and how um, an avid fly fisherman, no, well, not him, but an avid fly fisherman put it. One day when I was out there on the river, it was as if I heard the voice of God telling me that God put that river there for me, that God created the fish I was trying to catch for me, um, and that God was there for me. For the first time in my life, standing waist deep in that river, I came to know God as a, as a loving parent who truly enjoys spending time with me while I am doing one of the things I love most. Um, and and I don't, if you've ever just been alone in creation, hike, you don't have to be fishing or hunting, but a hike, a walk, just, just time alone or with someone or with a, a dog or whatever. And... and it's really hard not to feel that. Um, and, and I read this a while, a few days ago, and so I finally got out in the up in the deer stand, climbed the trees, sitting there, and, and watching as the evening turns and the, it cools, and then the movement happens. And it was really that just kept firing through me. That whole that you know, for me, God is for me, and and nature, and what that meant. And what that means, um, and and it it means a lot because when I think about it being for me, hunting for example, that deer feeds me and my family. It um, it's for me to be inspired and recognize God is there. It's for me to take care of, uh, to be responsible for, to 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 not just exploit. And, and there's so many layers to it. Um, but there's that recognition when you were on your own, and, and and maybe not as much here in Iowa because we're as close to the top of the food chain as you get. But in Wyoming, where you're not, where there's wolves and bears and oh my, um, there's 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 a there's a serene comfort in knowing that God is there for you and with you um, in that alone time, whether it's waist deep in a river or or waiting for some elk, or, or whatever it happens to be. But that presence, that feeling of the presence that we can find in nature, um, and how it just it reminds us that, that I just was never able to say it was accidental, that the beauty, the creation was not accidental it, or random. There seemed to be something at hand, um, something behind it. The scripture that... Um, the author here uses to go with it is Zephaniah 
Um, the Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior bringing victory. He will create calm with his love. He will he will rejoice over you with him. The Lord your God is in your midst, creating calm and rejoicing over each of us. Those moments in creation, um, I failed to mention when you're in a tractor and doing doing the hard work of harvest or planting, uh, the trust and, and the beauty of creation around you as you do that work, you really have to, we rely on God and we trust that God is in our midst. And, and I just, my whole life long, creation has always been the place where, one of the places where I've experienced the divine. So this week, go out, go out on a bike ride, a walk. If you're a hunter, go do that. Well, if, it's, since, if you're a bow hunter, um, go do that. Go be in nature and find God. Experience God because creation is for us. It's for us to love. It's for us to care for. And in that place, we find God. We experience God. And we know that God is in our midst and loves us. You all have a blessed week. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.